Hi guys, I just want to show some stuff I picked up this week, and it's a collection of comic books, I found some good deals and some other stuff. Uh, the comic books I got this week were The Flash, number 14, it's actually really good. I've already read all these, I only got three this, this week, so here's, here's my Flash. Of course my Hawkman, guest starring The Arrow. Uh, Hawkman now is, uh, I'm just going to take it out here. When I first came, I've always liked Hawkman. He's one of my favorite guys. I always really liked him. Uh, I've never, I don't read Arrow, so there was a crossover here apparently. But yep, when it first came out, I stuck with it. The story was always good. The artwork was, it was okay. But now they've, the artwork has changed. There you go. Looks, it looks better now from my style. Before it was a little... A little bit, it was okay, but I kind of like the artwork better now. He's uh, looking pretty cool with his new look. So the story is really good. He's uh, he's been I don't know if anybody's keeping track of it or not, but he's been um, he's been uh, accused of a crime of killing the royal family, and Shaira is after him because she's the, she's the princess and. And uh, near the end of this comic, so, so he's a wanted man, so they're using the bounty hunters from uh, their world, and now they're trying to use the ones from our world to get Hawkman. So you can see there's also Deathstroke in the back there. And I don't read Deathstroke, but here it sort of alludes to the fact that uh, he's got Ant Metal in his body too. So I thought I think it's a I think it's a really good comic. Um, I also got. Aquaman number 14. Uh, the artwork has changed on this one too, and uh, I used to, uh, the art was really good before, but now it's changed a bit. Aquaman looks looks slightly different. It's still good though. Uh, now, oh, the person there is his brother. Oh, where is my finger here? The Ocean Master, there guy who's on the front cover, I guess, is his brother. And the story's the story's getting the story's always been good. I like it a lot. He's always in the shadows though. His brother, you never really see him. You should never see his face. So again, Aquaman 14. I always liked Aquaman when I was a kid and wanted to keep going with it. Uh, that's all the comics I got this week. But I picked up some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, I was at this local store nearby, and he's got some really cool knickknacks and all kinds of uh, characters and like Pillsbury Doughboy, Beatles, Kiss stuff, and all kinds of superhero stuff. He's got all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's called it's called Michael Rodents. But anyway, I was in there, and it's the 30th, 30 years of Masters of the Universe. What this is, is a collector's box. It's got four 16-ounce pint, gla pint glasses inside of it. And it's got a window display on the side here. There's Skeletor and Beastman. And on this side, well, this has got Skeletor on this side. And there's Tila and the He-Man himself. I thought the box is pretty cool. It's called Tune Tumblers. Instead of four glasses. I got a few other ones from him. He had a, a Harley Quinn one, a Nova, a Boy Got Moon Knight. They're, they're really heavy-duty uh, glasses. But I bought, the reason I bought this was... I wouldn't have bought them. He has them separately as well, but he, had, oh, he also come in this collector case. And I really like how it kind of looks like the Castle Grayskull. So I thought that was pretty cool to pick up. And it was cheaper to buy them like that. Oh, I'm gonna break it. He also had another cool thing. It was a, it was a brown toque. But if anybody knows uh, Serenity or Firefly, I thought that was a really nice looking toque there. Pretty cool. And I was uh, for my job. I was walking through. Uh, there was a. I was going to a hospital to do some work there. And I was walking by, and this, this one of the volunteers was had all these books on the table. Now these are all pocket books I found. And um, let me show you. They, I was walking by, and I found a bunch of books that I kind of thought were kind of cool. And she said, "I said, how much are the books?" Because originally I saw. Sorry. My kid and my wife are really into Charlie Brown. I found this book. 
They're all donated books. Some are, there was this one from, from a library. There was another one like that, but I saw this one, so I asked, you know, how much for the pocketbooks? She says, a, a buck a bag. I'm like, what? A buck a bag? Okay. So she gave me a shot, like those plastic shopping bags. And I do like to read during my breaks at work, so I grabbed that. I found a couple other cool ones. Everybody remembers BC. Okay, cool. And these are like, these are kind of old actually. I was looking at the copyright data on some of these things. And this, these ones are like from, uh, what did I see here? 68. It's actually in really good condition considering it's from back from 68. Um, some other ones I found. I like, I like, oh, oh, uh, here, I'll show this one. I like old science fiction books back when, when people were back in the 50s, 60s earlier on to see how what they thought science fiction would be like back then as compared to now. And some of the stories are just really, really interesting to read. So I found this book. It's a Jules Verne book. It's a re reprint. Uh, but it's from the from the Earth to the Moon. And it's about a gun American the American gun club deciding to make a projectile to shoot at the moon. And this book originally was printed in 1865, so it'd be interesting to see what they thought back then about space travel and stuff like this. Again, these books were like they worked out to seven cents each, so I mean, the condition is not awesome, but you know, it's just just for reading. So, there's a Dragonlance book I got here. It's about a, that Minotaur there. I got I don't mind horror books. But I've, I've never seen the movie, but it's just some Stephen King book. Seven cents. What do you want? I really like the TV show of this, so I found this Shogun. So that's going to take me a while to read that. <laughs> uh, again, I just there's a lot of books I didn't really want, but these are the most interesting ones. So I just thrown them in. Uh, it was Magic the Gathering. You know, it's got two stories in it. I've never really played the game. I like the movie. I threw this one for fun. The Da Vinci Code, Decoded. Just a little book. I don't know. The movie I thought was pretty good. In the kids section, there is this book, uh, The Three Musketeers. It's a hardcover book. It's uh, got very small writing, but for my boy and I can enjoy reading that together. Again, the, going back to the science fiction books, I found, I hope I pronounced his name right, Isaac Asimov. I'm not sure, but I found two books of him. The Currents of Space, little, little pocket books. They were published, I looked it up, but I've forgotten. This, this gentleman also did uh, iRobot, The Martian Way, Earth is Room Enough, Nine Tomorrows, and Nightfall. So I thought iRobot was a good movie. I never read the book, but uh, 1952. So that should be interesting to see. And then there's another one by him, The Stars Like Dust. It says, uh, I don't want the big description in the back, but... There was a movie back in, I can't remember when it was, but it was The Name of the Rose with Sean Connery and Christian Slater when he was really young. What a friar who was trying to solve some solve some murder mysteries in an in in abbey. And I saw this. It, was, uh, it says the year is 1327. So he, The Name of the Rose. Anyway, couldn't beat the price. I've heard of this gentleman, but again, it was a hardcover book. It's a little library book, but The Voyage of... Uh, Julie's uh, Hera? I'm not sure, sorry. I'll let you guys read it for yourself. Again, you know, good enough to read. And when I was a kid, there was a Dungeons and Dragons ma module, sorry. It's called Ravenloft. And I saw this one. It was Ravenloft. It's basically a, the memoirs of, a, memoirs of a vampire. Again, it's a hardcover book. I really like the. Dungeons and Dragons manual. I remember it. I remember playing that one. So I thought it would be kind of interesting. Uh, so again, that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll, we'll talk to you soon. And, uh, oh, I wanted to say welcome back to Captain Strange Life. I hope you're feeling feeling better with your knees and stuff. I watched your video, and uh, you were telling me, saying about your uh, few different complications, but hopefully you're okay. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.